Have you ever wished your fingers could double as a cell phone? Or have you ever wanted to call your mom using just a thumb and a pinky? Well, the future is here. You might think this is an April Fool's joke, but it's not. This glove is the real deal, a cell phone glove, a hands-free talking glove that uses Bluetooth to make and receive phone calls. I think we should see how it works from the inside. Let's get started. Inside the box, we get two gloves, left and right. They feel like a normal average pair of super common cotton gloves, but these gloves have a little extra tech inside. Pairing the gloves to my phone was easy enough. Never a sentence I thought I would say. And that's it. My cell phone gloves are ready to go. It's a one size fits all kind of thing. I can feel the circular speaker up towards the tip of the thumb, sewn inside the fabric somehow. I'll figure that out more in a second. There is a charging port built into the control unit at the wrist. It's a micro USB port which feels a bit antiquated at this point, but I'm also reviewing a pair of gloves right now, so let's not be too picky. Unlocking your smartphone while wearing gloves is usually impossible, but the white fingertips on these smartphone gloves are conductive. Usually this means it's woven with some kind of metallic yarn or thread. It would allow the smartphone to recognize conductive touch the same way bare skin would. From the inside of the glove, there are no wires that are visible. For only costing $17, this is not a bad find, assuming it all works, of course. I can definitely feel the speaker in the thumb, but I don't feel any wires or microphones running along the pinky. Let's check the audio quality. It's rather quiet. Your thumb has got to be pretty deep inside your ear to make it sound good, but surprisingly, it is working. This is what the audio quality sounds like when you're speaking through the glove to another person. The glove is a pretty simple microphone, speaker, Bluetooth combination, but it seems to sound all right, even if it's a bit quiet. It might be a gimmick, but at least it's a functional gimmick. Let's figure out once and for all where the hardware is located. My razor blade helps put some deeper grooves into the fabric. With a bit of persuasion at the seam next to the control panel patch, we can get our first look at the internal circuit board and the battery. This cute little guy is the brains of the whole operation but it's not protected against water in any way, just bare circuits. So wearing these gloves in the rain or during a snowball fight would probably be a bad idea. It's all just literally sewn into the seam of the glove. Interesting. I guess this is what all the high-tech grandmas are up to these days, knitting techie gloves. The circuit board has a processor, two red buttons, and if we look closely up here in the corner, we find the microphone. So the sound is actually not coming from the pinky. The box might lead you to assume otherwise, but the microphone is actually located on the wrist, meaning that by wearing the glove on the right hand, where the mic is on the inside of the wrist, is probably a better idea than having the mic on the outside. The guy on the box is definitely not using it right. The battery is 110 milliamp hour, which is about one third the size of an Apple Watch, but still supplies about six hours of talk time, if your thumb can last that long. The white wire, which I did accidentally cut during the circuit board removal, leads up to the tip of my thumb, but the speaker seems to be sewn into its own little compartment. With no visible screws, we're left with the razor blade as the best tool for the job, making short work of the conductive threads and exposing the round speaker earpiece. Once it's out, I can remove the white wire, which snakes its way down the thumb hole to the motherboard and the microphone on the wrist. This whole thing is pretty cool. Even if the microphone isn't actually located in the pinky, the glove is a fun little gimmick that serves more of a conversation piece instead of a functional daily life improving accessory. I do gotta hand it to them though, they did make an interesting product and I'll give them a thumbs up for that. I'll link the gloves down in the video description if you wanna check out the current pricing and I'll put a few of my other April 1st videos down there as well. Thanks still for watching and I'll see you around.